What's up everyone? So it's link ups number four today, slightly different. We go back to defensive positions and we're looking at centre back and the stopper. Three at the back we'll use today, three at the back. One's going to be a stopper, the other two are going to be your centre backs. And if you're wondering what team we're using today, we're using my main save team at the moment, Darlington FC. So positioning wise, I'm doing this video with a back three. You can use a back two, but for me, my preferred method of using a stopper with a centre back combo is in a three. The three are there. We've got Solomon, Hockenhull and Edmondson. Now Edmondson, there, he's your stopper. The other two boys are your traditional centre backs on defence. Now positioning wise, it's really interesting this one, really interesting. So you've got the three across there, the flat, the start off flat, but as soon as the attacks start coming, Edmondson, the stopper, he'll be all over these sort of areas, trying to break up the attacks before they even get into our half or our final third. There's a great example of that here. So it doesn't necessarily have to come from a intricate attack from your opposition. It can come from a big long ball forward. The stopper's always gonna be aggressive and trying to break that attack up. Here we see the opposition goalkeeper has the ball. He's looking up. All the players are up there. It's obviously gonna be a longer kick. As the kick comes in, look out for Edmondson. Here comes the kick. There's Edmondson, check that out. He's absolutely stormed from this position here, over there, to get to that ball. Whereas the other two centre backs, Hockenhull and Solomon, they are on their traditional line, in a nice line, waiting for the attack. Confident that Edmondson's gonna break that attack up, which he does. Now, if I just pull it into data analyst view, my favorite view in this game for a whole broad picture of the match, you can see that when we're attacking, our back three, one, two, and three, thanks for the tip, by the way, the viewer who told me that, where I can highlight them all. They're in this traditional line, but Edmondson kind of hovers with the striker because he knows the ball's gonna come up to that striker and he's gonna be the one to bust it and bust out that move. That's why I like this stopper combo because you'll know as well as I do, 90% of the time at the minute, we're up against single strikers. So the stopper is the guy stopping the ball, losing the name, stopping the ball, getting to him. When the ball's up here, in, this, in these sort of areas up here, the three are in a traditional line like a back three would be. No problems there, covering all aspects. I like to position my stopper in the middle of the three. You can see them set up there, all three of them. Now, the reason being, because invariably their strike is gonna be central as well. So he can cut out the ball like we just saw before it gets to them. Let's have a look at this example. As it's played on, you can see them in a nice straight line just across there. No problem so far. As soon as that ball comes active to, to either this lad here or this lad here, watch what my stopper does. He takes the risk, plays it back. There he goes, attack. Now pause it there. He's attacked it. His link up partners, Hockenhull, Solomon, the normal centre backs on defend duty, just dropping a little bit deeper, maintaining the line with their full back while he attacks the ball. When we've got the ball back and we're attacking, there they go again, dropping into the free in a nice straight line. So what the stopper is, he's a more aggressive defender than your other two. So even when it's not in his zone necessarily, we, we talked about him being in, in the central areas here. We'll just highlight him. Even when it's not in his zone, he'll come across and attempt to make that clearance. Let's just see here. McGill, the keeper's got the ball there back here. He's about to clear it, up it goes. Now look at Edmondson, he started over here. Now he's, da he's coming basically into Solomon's zone there because he wants to attack the ball. So he's not gonna mark the striker. He's gonna attack the ball and cut it out all the time, leaving the centre backs, Hockenhull and Solomon to do the covering. As we play on, we'll just highlight Edmondson alone. The ball's in the air there. Look at him right across into Solomon's zone there to attack that ball. Attack it, he does, wins it back. Now he seems to be getting all the glory here, the stopper, attacking the ball, winning it back, making the aggressive plays. But the important role that these two have got, Hockenhull and Solomon, can't be understated because when he's attacking the ball, them two are maintaining their line like they normally would. It's why a back three, for me, is ideal for it because you're gonna have two people covering. I still think you could do it in a back four, especially against one striker, but you're gonna have to have really good players in them roles and a very disciplined centre back on defence duty. Now attack starts with defence right and even his start position as opposed to the other two centre backs on a defend duty, 
him on a stop he'll always find he starts a little bit more advanced slightly more extreme example here from the goal kick but you can see Edmondson there is way more advanced than both Hockenhull and Solomon he's instigating it he's the more aggressive of the defenders so that's an important aspect when you're choosing who you want to use as your stopper we'll play it on he's always the one who's looking to initiate look at this he's ahead he's even carrying the ball so getting a stopper who's comfortable on the ball is going to be a little bit handy he, he starts the moves there the other two Solomon and Hockenhull remain in line with each other while he has a bit of a license to bum on he's not as aggressive as a libero for example the famous libero but He's still going to bomb on a little bit ahead. You can see that he's still ahead of them, even though the ball's in nowhere near him. He's still slightly ahead of his two centre-backs on defend. That's why I guess it may be a bit of a challenge to make a stopper and centre-back on defend combo work in a 4-4-2, for example, a back four. It may work, but if you're coming up against two strikers, you might be a bit exposed. I guess the key point is that he's not a libero. He's not going to be sprinting all the way up the pitch when he's won the ball but it'll always be a little bit more aggressive than the two centre backs we'll just play this little movement on here you can see when we get the ball here he's actually marked up so he can't get the ball so he remains in line with his centre back partners as soon as he gets a little bit free though the ball is with the keeper you can see him edging there edging a little bit further for this reason if I'm using a stopper I probably will err on the side of caution on using a defensive midfielder we probably don't need one because he's going to be in these areas let's see if we play it on a little bit Solomon the other centre back has got the ball and look at Edmondson he's actually found himself in a defensive midfield position whereas the other centre back Hockenhull is in line with Solomon so for that reason a defensive midfielder is maybe not needed so there we have it I think that's a dead cool little link up and one that I'm pretty new to as well and I'm experimenting with it at the minute and I'm enjoying it it's taken away the need for me to have a defensive midfielder in there despite my team having issues conceding goals in this area having this stopper there to just step into them areas it's been a nice little secret weapon I haven't tried it as a two yet I'm a bit cautious to try it with a two I would try it in a two if we are chasing a game though against one striker 100 percent i'd give it a go but for now for me it's an ideal role in a back three so after trialing it for a bit i like it i like it it's allowing me to be more solid at the back with three center backs without having the need to have a center midfielder in there i can actually have them a little bit further up increasing the attacking aspect of the team at the minute it's working well give it a go let me know how it goes for you